Yo, can't forget DJ Dell. Should be from the streets. You know, I know everything that there is about the streets, but this guy, he's trying to take over. But I'm gonna let him take over, because the feds is out there. They're trying to get us. So DJ Dell, you go, boy. I'm an addict for sneakers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. A pair of shoes that I did review in the past, but I never did a full detailed review including on feet. And they do come with an extra set of laces, so I'm going to show you what they look like with both laces when I show the on foot. I was able to get this pair right here for way under retail, and I really love these. I think these are shoes that you know people either loved or hated i know i already did a review on these but i'm going to review them side by side with the other pair with the lace swap because they do come with two laces and then i'll show you them on feet i didn't do that in the other review and then we'll be right back all right so let's get into this detailed review right here on the swamp thing i think that's what they're calling them the swamp thing shoe or the gators i don't know the exact name for them i've been calling them the swamp thing the shoe is really unique i love how it has all these like bright kind of colors kind of reminds me of like black light posters all around the midsole and i really like that we'll get up close right there on the midsole i really like all the designs on the midsole i love the upper how it's like this brown kind of upper with all these like bright crazy colors over here i really like how it looks the brown is such a laid-back color but then this midsole and then your hits by the fly wire as you can see on the fly wire you've got your blue fly wire with your hits of like pink but the midsole is really hot and it's got like this kind of lizard kind of like almost like an alligator or a crocodile that's what the eye reminds me of like a crocodile and this kind of reminds me of like the skin of the crocodile and i love how it transitions the colors really hot and you got your blue swoosh with your green trim 360 unit super comfortable there's a look at the midsole more See, it's got that kind of like croc skin look to it, and it transitions to different colors. Definitely reminds me of like a black light poster. And over here on this part of the hyperfuse, the whole upper is this synthetic, but like right here where the hyperfuse is, where you see the ventilation, it's kind of got an effect. It's like a lighter brown, but it kind of like, it's got this little effect where it gets darker in certain areas, which gives it a lot of life. And it also has this kind of texture, almost like skin. Gator or a swamp thing or whatever it is. As I said, I'm a little unsure about the actual concept to the shoe. Everyone keeps calling it the swamp thing though. And I really like how on this part, as I was showing on this hyperfuse, how it kind of fades and gets lighter toward the top. And then it kind of blends into the tongue where it's like just one full like light color right there. As you can see how it kind of fades. And then you got your like multicolored laces in green and blue. And they also come with these brown laces right here. Which you got like two different kind of look. I don't know which one you like better. But I just figured to do this just so you can see. And one major reason why I did. I know this is going to be very helpful for a lot of people that are debating on doing this. But don't want to because it's just such a pain in the ass to put these laces in. Because of the fly wire here, it's such a pain in the ass to do this. So I know some people are really going to appreciate this right here. Because I really did not want to do it. But And once I started, this fly wire kept popping out of the loop. And it was such a pain in the ass to do and I'm gonna have to do it again because I plan on wearing these. I plan on taking the laces off of one. I'm not gonna say which one because I don't want to influence anyone's opinion on the shoe on which lace they like better and I want to see what people think. Now on the tongue right there, you've got your like mouth right there of like the monster or the swamp thing or the gator. It's pretty sick. There's a look at the insole right there, which is pretty wild. You got the eye right there. It's kind of like a gator, but it kind of got like this blood now. It's like blood kind of stain all over it. So crazy detailed shoe. Inside of the shoe is wild too. There's like a lot of detail in the shoe. There's so much detailing on the shoe. I mean, if you're really into something, I got a lot of details. Even behind the tab, like there's so much detail to it. But I feel like a lot of people just were either really into it or not at all. And I feel like a lot of people weren't into it. Most of my friends were just like whatever with the shoe. I have so many like regular everyday looking kind of shoes that 
something like this, something unique like this, I really am into. Let me show you what these look like on feet and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go with a look on feet. Let me know which ones you like better as far as with the laces, you like with the brown laces or these greenish blue laces right here. As far as the fit, true to size, I go up half a size. I went up half a size on these and I really like them um, as nine and a half. I usually wear a nine, but nine and a half on the LeBron 10s is the way to go, I think. It's just, they're easy to throw on your feet. You don't have to worry about them being a little bit too big because they are a little, a little bit too big for me, but I don't have to worry about them creasing. It's like an all synthetic upper. It doesn't really crease for me. I'm not, play, I'm not playing basketball in them, um, just wearing them, you know, chilling wearing them. So I don't have to worry about them creasing like crazy. I'm just wearing them regular, just hanging out. So I would go up half the size. Speaking of hanging out, I randomly was messing around on Saturday night on YouTube, I got home early from where I was at. So I was on my computer checking out some comments on YouTube and then I noticed the Google Hangouts and I remember some people telling me like, yo, you need to start doing Google Hangouts here and there. And I was like, let me mess around and see how this thing works. So I was messing around just seeing how it was gonna work and before you know it, there was like, first there were like 20 and then 50 and 100. It was like mad people coming in and before you know it, I was, just chilling on Google Hangouts, answering a lot of people's questions for like three hours till like 3 4 in the morning. It was crazy random, but it was really great at the same time because it's nothing like something random that you do just working out. Even though I couldn't really figure out how to use it like great, I, it was kind of weird. I was just reading, refreshing the all comments section and just answering people's comments. I totally wasn't using it the right way, I know that but for the viewers, they couldn't tell the difference. And it was a great time. So shout out to everyone that checked that out because there was a lot of people that checked it out. And I'll probably do it again in a month or so. You know, I'm not gonna do it all the time. I used to do the live interaction stuff a lot a few years ago, like maybe like um, four years ago over at tinychat.com, but I stopped doing it. But I'm gonna do this maybe in a month or so. But I did show a lot of people these right here and I'll show them real quick. Just so you can see them because you guys have been waiting to see these for a long time. If you follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, you've already seen these. But I'll do a full review on the Bruce Lee 11, the Bumble Lee. Probably in a couple of days you'll see it. But leave your comments on these and let me give you that infamous all right, so there you go. You got your detailed look. Bong right here. Let me know which ones you like better as far as with the laces. And let me know if you even like these shoes. Some people I know hate these shoes. I seen photos of these. I was like, all the details on these is crazy. Because I was kind of disappointed with this shoe, how the bottom of the shoe was like exactly like last year's model. I thought it was lacking something. It seemed kind of boring. But this one right here, just is like full of just a lot of details, a lot of life to this one right here. But leave your comments. Let me know what you think of these right here. I want to know what you think. Do you like these? Do you not? How to not? Let me know what you like about the shoe, what you don't like about the shoe. Catch up on all my videos. I got so much sneaker reviews I've done in the past like three days. A lot of early release stuff official shoes I know people get confused with that word early release they think they're like B grades and stuff I'm talking about authentic shoes I'm showing you before they hit the shelves if you want to see reviews on a lot of shoes that are coming out in the next couple of weeks I'll put links in the description box to a whole bunch of them like the rug rats that are coming out the taxis that are coming out really soon the taxi review is actually me comparing the original 1996 model with the retro that's releasing next week so make sure to check out that review i also did a brand new podcast talking about the brand new lebron 11 nba 2k 14 collaboration I talk all about my thoughts on that in a new podcast so i will leave a link to to that just check out the description box below for a bunch of different stuff that you may want to check out make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you love what i'm doing share this video facebook twitter also on google plus make sure to follow my google plus the sneaker out at google plus make sure to follow that right there and also make sure to download my brand new mixtape that I did with super producer Dame Grace. If you like the music, go in the description box and go get that Wave Gang 10. Shout out to live mixtapes. And with that said, I'll be back with a...
real good. DJ Dell, do not love you. I can do it all and I wanna. Got a dream, go for it. Just do it like Nike. No fear, wheelie on the Kawasaki. Crack your jaw like the white dude playing hockey. Dell's a winner like Rocky. Two arms up, champion, can't stop me. Wave game, be the team. New York, be the city. We the best. You, we pity. See a shining light.